You know, for longer than I care to admit, I have been racking my brain trying to figure out some clever, funny way to do an introduction for this video, announcing that I'm going to be doing a new XCOM 2 War of the Chosen series, that it would be heavily modded, that I would actually split the campaign with Saiken, and Ultimately, I kind of came up blank, so I had this wonderful epiphany. What if I came on and I said something like, Hi, this is Tapcat, and today I want to tell you about my brand new XCOM 2 War of the Chosen campaign. It's going to be heavily modded. It's going to feature Saiken as well as myself. You know, like, that would work, wouldn't it? <laughs> so... Guess what I'm here to announce? Uh, let me fill in some more of the blanks for you and go into a little bit more detail. Uh, let's start with Saiken first because the single biggest change I feel like I can make to a series on the channel is that it's not always featuring me, right? Because I'm the one constant that you always have in these playthroughs. But if you saw the little mini campaign we did where we took a viewer campaign and tried to salvage it, uh, I would record one mission, then Saiken, and back and forth. So it's going to be kind of like that. Um, we're going to alternate between missions. So part one will be on this channel, and then everything going forward from there will bounce back and forth. The one thing we won't do is in the other one, uh, we, like I would set up the squad and equip it for him, and then he would have to just take you know, whatever I gave him. And he had done the same thing for me. Uh, this time over the course of a full campaign, we won't be doing that. It's already going to be a challenge kind of dealing with uh, managing the roster and all of that based on whatever the other person has kind of left available. So we're, we're going to go with that. Regarding the mods, by my count, we have 57 mods for this campaign. So let me give you the big categories first, and then I'll try to go into some level of detail. But I will tell you, I'm not going to discuss 57 mods. What I am going to do is post a link to um, a list of all of them on Steam. And you can go through, you know, and, and peruse it to your heart's content and dig into them. But let me go ahead and cover the basics. So, uh, this is not quite a total overhaul, but it's close. The first thing that we're doing that's a pretty huge change is that there's one mod called the Proficiency Class Pack, and it gets rid of all four of the basic classes. So there will be no Ranger, no Grenadier, no, you know, Specialist and Sharpshooter, etc. But in their places, we get six new classes. The whole point of this is to make them a little less powerful and to make the game more challenging. But I think a sneaky, you know, subplot of, of a way to make it more challenging in this mod is it's not just that these classes are a little weaker. It's the fact that there's six instead of four. So when you're trying to build out your roster, you know, sometimes it can already be challenging in War of the Chosen to have enough depth on each class so that, it, you know, when fatigue and these other things tie guys up, you have enough, say, grenadiers to, to take on a mission when you want to. But now when you think about opening that up to six, it's even harder. Uh, particularly because, you know, roster sizes are limited and you can only bring so many guys. So that should be really interesting. Uh, also, as you might expect, tons of mods beefing up the enemies. So th the starting point is a better advent. If you watched a couple of seasons ago on this channel, I did a whole campaign with a better advent. Loved it. It really mixes things up because it changes the AI for existing enemies like sectoids and makes them much more aggressive and dangerous. 
It also introduces a lot of variants, not just for sectoids, but, you know, many enemies in the game. So it really amps up the threat level. There's also a better chosen that does some changes to the AI for, you guessed it, the chosen. And then on top of that, there are several mods that are adding psionic enemies into this. So we wanted to try to give the campaign kind of that theme of having more, more powerful, more you know, pervasive psionic enemies. Kind of the headliner for that is one that restores ethereals to the campaign. So you fight the ethereals directly in, you know, enemy unknown and enemy within, but not in XCOM 2. Well, you know, they're coming back for this. So that, that mod is actually part of a series called A Harder War. And I know we have at least one more. Uh, a Harder War, The Fanatics. It also adds several psionic enemies to the game, brand new ones. In addition, there again are several more that are either adding psionic enemies or taking existing ones like the priest and making them tougher. Uh, just as an example, I usually am not very concerned when I see priests. I, I consider them one of the easier to deal with enemies. But now, you know, this new variant, every single time you take one to what should have been zero health and kill them, they go into that mode where they go into stasis and there's nothing you can do to them. And then they come out on their turn. And if you don't have Overwatch set up, you know, they can really do some damage to you. So, they're not quite the joke that they used to be. Um, in general, the combination of weaker soldier classes for us and then beefed up enemies should really, you know, amp up the difficulty level in this campaign and um, make it a little more interesting and spicy for you to watch. That's the, my hope anyway. Now, uh, in addition, there are a few other categories of mods. I'm going to touch on these a lot more briefly. The first is, if you've watched my campaigns in the past, you know that there are some quality of life mods I just kind of can't live without, like Gotcha. And um, one that I love that I hadn't been able to get to work for a while is Show Health Values. So instead of trying to count all those little pips, you know, when you fight a gatekeeper or something, uh, it just shows you the number. And so um, that will be in here and I actually have it working on my computer again. So you can look forward to that, but also some new ones. And uh, for example, like one is called colored ammo bar. And what it'll do is when you're looking in that bottom right hand corner, you know, it shows you how much ammunition you have. Well, if you're using dragon rounds, it'll be red. Those, those pips will be colored red. If you're using blue screen rounds, they'll be blue and venom rounds green and so forth. So just a really easy visual cue when you bring up each soldier to remind yourself what ammunition you put on it. Um, so we'll have a few things like that in there and then uh, a bunch of map packs. I think I counted at least eight. And so you should see more variety in the terrain and things like that. Um, and then the other category, because this is XCOM, is I also saw somewhere around eight um, bug fixes and things just trying to make the game work the way it's intended. Okay, I think I've covered the basics, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. You will see part one very soon. I actually haven't decided yet. It'll either go up tomorrow or within just the next couple of days. And then part two will be on Sykin's channel and so on. We will set up a playlist on each of our channels. So that, you know, if you don't want to go back and forth between the two channels, you can just, you know, focus on the playlist on the channel of your choice and follow the whole thing that way. And then um, when we get to the end of the campaign, 
I will definitely do a um, kind of a wrap up, an epilogue and talk about it. And I'm pretty sure Syken will join me for that. So that'll be kind of a fun way to wrap it up. Uh, I hope this is of interest to you and you join us on our journey. This isn't something you see a whole lot of people do, so it should <laughs> it should feel a little different than just, you know, the 100th XCOM 2 campaign you've ever watched. Either way, thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.